just having a quick inspection with being together. There's no teeth missing in the first housing, that's for sure. All looks pretty good, all moves pretty smooth. It's these parts I'm thinking are wrong. Right. And not much oil has drained out, so I've got a lot of it out, which is good. That's just the uh, drain plug. I'll take him out as a matter of course. And storing somewhere, along with this fill one, which is it. Torx, I think that's a T55 in there. Or a 50, that's a 50 I've got. Let's see if a 55 works. That's a 55. Ah. Right, that's those out. I'm not sure what is next. I'm not sure why the housing is being held together. At the moment, that'll need to come off. Yeah, I'm just not sure what's holding it together at the moment for the uh, extension housing. There's nothing I can see, there's a bolt there, just holding some kind of shroud. Nothing really major. Right, let's have a look at this fella. It's got these shells that have dropped off, I'm not sure where at the moment. I'm not sure if they've snapped on the meant to be half. Pretty sure they're meant to be half. I'm just going to drain some more of this um, gearbox oil out as much as I can. There shouldn't be a lot in there, but the more I can get out, the better. Right, this is starting to surrender. It's just tight, that's all. That's awful, that one. Just have to keep working it, I guess. It will eventually. Okay, give up. It's definitely coming apart. There we go. Come on. You're almost there. Almost surrendered. Have to be careful because I'm not sure what's holding it on, so I don't think there's anything holding it on, but have to be careful. It's the weight that's the problem. Safe to say that has surrendered. Stage one, not too bad at all. Right, 
right, so I want to just have a quick inspection of all of this, see how it goes together, take a few photographs and just to see the workings of it and test a few parts out. Right, so next up the lay shaft fifth gear has to come off. There's this collar first of all, which um, I've given it a little tap and it should come off. Not doing a puller on that, don't really want to, but Let's see. So I've had to go and get a deep socket. This one I'm hoping it's going to be long enough. It should be, yeah, looking at the shaft now, I was a little bit worried when I was in the shop whether this would go over. It needs to be a reach of around or over 45 millimeter clear reach. So that is going to go on there and we'll give that a whack with an impact gun. But before you do that, in order to do it, you need to lock the shaft saw. Now there is a special tool which will do this, uh, some people use a bike and a tube tyre and they will wedge it between the gears, a couple of the gears and stop it turning. Uh, another way is to put the uh, gear, you can move these meshes over and get them into gears that you want manually. So I've moved mine into fourth, I've locked fourth off and I've also locked second gear off so effectively it's in two gears and that is going to lock this lay shaft in place so it hopefully won't do any damage uh, these things are all pretty heavy duty so I should be fine with that so I'm gonna hit this up with a windy gun hopefully and we'll see what happens this should do it that one off another job down this item is renewed you can see it has been staked and that's why it's quite tough to get off but this is a renewable item do not reuse that just um, file it away with the <coughs> spares so a little bit of encouragement with this and it should drop the fifth gear Coming. And there we go with a collar as well. Let's keep these all together now. And I need to start some kind of library of where all these bits are going to go. So let's turn this thing over. I'm not exactly sure what comes off next, but I think whatever it is, it's on this side here. Not sure if that's off next. I just have to go steady with this because I don't know what there is to come off. If that's off. That's going nowhere. Right, I'm going to have a little mess around and see what I can see to take off next. I suspect it's going to be this collar that's down here on the uh, main shaft. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, bonus piece. <laughs> All right, that is, I've lost my orientation now. Um, that is a part of the gearbox. That's all I can say at the moment. It came off in my hand. Let's see if any more of that will drop out. I want to keep this together as much as I possibly can.
Right, so I'll just take that and put that somewhere safe. Another part off, I'm not sure what it is. Right. Right, that's it. That fella's gonna come off now. Another one off. That was behind the fifth gear in the lay shaft. Excuse me for not knowing all the names, but I don't have time to revise them. So that fella's off. Right, I think we need to concentrate on these bits down here on the main shaft because that's what's holding everything up at the moment. So I need a puller of some kind on here. That's not going anywhere. Oh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Right, this thing I've been putting off doing this one because now tight it's going to be, but unfortunately I'm at that time where I'm going to have to rig something off to pull this up so I'll get back to you when I've figured out something that'll pull this off. So this is the pulley system I've got rigged up and I'd just like to say before I do it I've had a hundred percent failure of using this puller since I've bought it and I've had it for many a year and it hasn't pulled one thing. I'm hoping, I'm quite hopeful for this one because it shouldn't be on that tight but um, I've had a total duck as regards pulling with this thing it just bends all the time so I'm hoping this will work I'm hoping it's not on too tight oh yeah it's broken it's duck at last I mean it's almost paid for itself that's sarcasm by the way absolutely disappointed with it but Gonna pull this off. That's a good thing. Right, it fills me with a little bit more hope for pulling some of the later stuff off. Just making sure it's not catching on anything. There we go, I've got a bit of Sony waiting. There we go. Good. Finally broken its duck. Alright. Let's see if I can get that off. Ah, another collar. I'm showing these as much for my um, benefit as anyone else's. I need to know how it all goes back together. All right, let's make some room. So that should allow all of this assembly. This is off the main shaft. All of that should come off. I'm hoping that'll come off at some point. It doesn't really want to surrender at the moment. Check all this stuff out later on. Right, what's in there? Next is a looks like a circlip there. Right, find some circlip pliers and get him off. Let's see if I can get this one out without obscuring the camera, which is, makes it harder. There we go, one circlip off. Right, that exploded when I took it apart or off. So I'll need to sort that back out. I need to click the bits. One, two, three, four. It's a shame because I wanted that lined up. And something else flew off over here. 
Right, that's my first mishap for losing a part. I'm not even sure which part it was. Alright, so I think something fell off. I'm not sure where it went. I certainly can't find it. It didn't go far. It just felt as though it pinged off. It may well be the other C-clip, because I've only got one so far. Um, but I'll pull this assembly off and have a look. And then, after I have a tidy up, um, see if I can find it, but it may well be no clip on here. Alright, so let's get these out. Again, this is all stuff I'm going to have to have a look at. See, I think, let's have a look at that. I think there should have been a C-clip on the back of this and there isn't, there he is no, so that's two C-clips I want to keep these matched up as much as possible I'm not doing a very good job of it has to be said so that's going to have to go loose because I can't get that to marry up at the moment I've got it as close as possible I'm certain it has to go a special way around so we shall see about that I just want to keep it close for now that will do alright next up these needle bearings are going to get replaced needle bearing, I'll put that with all the other gear at the moment but those do get replaced and next up there's this fella here and it's got shells and all sorts going on Again, just trying to keep it all together. And I do believe that is the main shaft, first side, stripped out. That was pretty easy. And oh, there we go. Alright, let me create some space because all this is going to tip out. So, after getting that lot out, there's a layer shaft off. Again, I'll have a look at this later on. And it needs stripping down further, it needs the bearings taken off and replacing. I'm going to keep that together and inspect it, but you get the idea. But good, another piece off. Good progress. And I'm not sure about this, don't know how this comes off at the moment. I have temptation to hit it with a hammer, but we'll wait and see. Right. Next up, all of this assembly should slide out. So I'll take that off, I'll keep that there because I'm going to put it back on as soon as this comes out. This has to go a certain way around and all of this should now drop out in theory. In practice it won't come out at the moment. Yeah, right, it'd be that ball that's holding it up. There we go. And there we go. Just remember, you've got the other spring and ball that goes on the opposite side of this shaft here. So I'll slide him out. And there we go. 
there's a ball out the spring will be around somewhere there it is I can see the spring alright there we go on that on there I want that back on there before I do my service on it that's another piece off right I want the spring out of here as well so I don't lose it I think it's in here somewhere I saw it there it is I'll just drop that spring out you don't really need to but I'm giving all this a clean up later on so it needs to be all out that should do it there we go, the other spring. Let's have a look at the centre plate. I'm going to clean this up properly later on. It doesn't look too bad, I've got to say. Put a gasket sealant again. I'm not sure about this idler. I'll have to look to see how that, um, if it presses out or hammers out or. I'm not sure about that. I thought it might have dropped out once everything else was there, but that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We'll see about that one. Put that in the pending pile. 